Hello people, to something a bit special. This is my side let's play of a game I never thought that I would end up let's playing. However, it's sunk its claws into me over the past few months that I've played it. And I'm jumping on the bandwagon like so many other people have. I will be let's playing this game with this little dude who's got ropes and going into a cave or something. Derek Yu presents... Whoosh. Spelunky! Like so many other people, I'm jumping on the bandwagon and I'm gonna play this lovely little platformer. I'm just gonna try and get the audio just about right again. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it like that. So, yeah, Spelunky, a little indie game made by Derek Yu, and it is brilliant. One of the best indie games I've ever played. And I'm deciding why not do a side let's play of it. Now before I jump into it, I'm going to show you my scores. I have unlocked two trophies. And this isn't the only game I've ever played. I have, unfortunately, completed it. At least once. In fact, I've completed it on my other game. I've completed it around about three times now. However, that doesn't make it any easier. This game is very difficult. You will see me fail a lot. And... It took me quite a while to get this one, and to get the top one. However, I'm not going to go into them. I'm just going to play the game for you. And I will be playing it through to the end. And for people who know about this game, I will... Well, probably after I finish this game, I will be showing you how to get to the fabled City of Gold. Yep, I will be showing you that. But, let's just jump right into it in the tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial cave. This might be your first time playing. Not. Press B3 to jump. I'm using a PS2 controller to play this game. You can hang on ledges too, cause I'm a ninja. Press B4 to use your whip. Smack! Die, snake. Collect the treasure. That's one thing you definitely want to do in this game. And I'll tell you how to do the rest. There's more stuff. You can open chests. Grab more gems. Basically... It, it's relatively simple. Top left you got your hit points, you got your bombs, you got your ropes, and the treasure that you've currently collected. You can hang over ledges and flip down so you don't take fall damage. You can pick up rocks and stuff and throw them at bats. The bats do come down at you if you get close enough. Use your rope to get up to high places. You can dash. You can pick up crates and set up bombs to blow your way through levels. It's a destructible environment which is epic. You just jump over and get to the end. So let's get into this. Tutorial cave completed. Now I'm just gonna say uh, this game was brought to my attention by a let's player by the name of Kikoskia. But uh, well, I'm hoping a lot of you know of. He's really great guy, Kikoski is. Very funny, great let's player. Uh, so it's brought to my attention through him mainly, and Gavarok Fevenor, and Himitsu SJ. They're the main people that I know that have done this, and multiple other people. They were the ones that subjected me to the horror but awesomeness that is this game, and that's just unfair. That's an arrow trap right there. Get in front of it, it will blow you away with an arrow. However, there is a little trick. If you select an item, go to the edge so you kind of like that, you'll then automatically drop it and you could do that. And then you could just jump down, pick it up again and put it back into your inventory. It's a nice little trick. Although it takes a while. So let's just play this Spelunky. Lovely game. I've already spent four minutes just talking about the game. <laughs> There's 15 levels. They don't get any easier the more you play it. I, I, I don't expect to do incredibly well on this, but I'm hoping to have some fun and I will complete it in an undisclosed amount of videos, I'm not sure how many it's going to take, but that's the end of level 1 already, however I'm not playing it too seriously at the moment, I'm kind of in a half asleep state at the moment, I'm not entirely in a let's play mood, but hey, I've, I've put off making a video for way too long now, so I thought why not? Spiders, you can pick up a lot of stuff, like over here, 
Be careful. No, good. You can pick up a skull, but they break on impact. Some some of the bones can come to life and be skeletons, and that really hurts. So, kill a bat. Kill a snake. This game gets very torturous with you as well. You'll see later on. If you're thinking this is all to the game, well then you obviously haven't played it enough. There's a lot to this game. For an indie game, it's very in-depth. Which is awesome. I'm gonna I'm trying to get as much as much um, treasure as I can get. Now I can perform a glitch to go down there, but if I do, it will kill me. I can go down to get that gem, but it will squish me. Now this is a damsel. If you rescue her, although the damsels are pretty torturous, they hate you. But if you can take her to the exit, you can you can use her as a weapon. That's awesome. Then she'll give you a hit point if you rescue her. Which is always appreciated. Three more ropes. She's immune to fall damage and most other kinds of damage. You could basically just use her as a bomb. Except she doesn't explode. But take her to the exit and you can go through to level three. And she gives you a big wet one. And she's apparently part of your loot. So, yeah. Okay, level 3. I'm kind of blasting through this. That's not nice. I, I don't want to get really far through it straight away. I want to be at this for a while. I don't want to complete this stupidly fast. Yeah, well, I've, I've missed my chance of getting that gem up there unless there's a rope, which I don't want to use for just one gem. You can push blocks down to set up the arrow traps. Come down, come on down, bam! You can do awesome jumps like that. See, before I started recording, I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to say about this, and now it's all fleed me. I don't know what to say. Ah, this is a good one. Shops. This isn't exactly the most ideal shop to show, but it's it's a betting shop. No one cares about this. I'll show you. I'll show you the other ones. But that shopkeeper, he is the devil. The shopkeeper deserves to die. The, sh the shopkeeper's just... Ugh. He, he shouldn't be allowed to live. Ugh. Let's jump over there. Over there. There we go. And collect that gem. We're at a nice 18,000. Although I can do way better at this point. But, hey, as I said, I'm not playing this totally seriously. I'm playing it on a lower screen as well. It's a smaller screen. Uh, to make recording easier. Well, mainly just so I can see exactly how long I've been recording for. So, I'm playing a smaller screen, so it may be a bit more difficult. As you can see, this is a dark level. Uh, levels do have random events, which can be kind of annoying, but not entirely unrewarding. Because these things you can see, these golden scarab things, they may look slightly dangerous, but oh, they are not. They don't hurt you, in fact, if you collect them, they're worth quite a bit. Yeah, I'll get you. Just walk away from it a bit, or come down a bit. If you just leave it alone. Come on. Come down. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah. 4,000 right there. Now if you're thinking I'm doing too well, I will fail. Don't worry, I'll fail a lot. Spikes. Oh. I, I much more recommend watching Gavarok's Let's Play of this. Oh, oh, there, see? I got hit. Snakes. I hate dark levels. Oh, yeah. Gavarok's Let's Play of this is much funnier. And I would go for the whole, you can guess, commentate with me on this, but I'm scared that people will then say I'm trying to copy Gavarok by doing that. Which I, I would never try and copy him. Oh. The key up there, should I bother with that? Uh, I don't know if I should bother with the key or not. You know what, I won't. I won't, come, I won't bother with the key at the moment. That The key is a, a clue to how to get to the City of Gold. And look at that, I'm already at the, the shortcut. Okay. This is the shortcut guy! Uh, there's four worlds. The shortcut guy... Well, 
ask you for money to build a shortcut into the second world. I'm going to give him all my money right here. All 37,600 of it. And so, yeah, thanks. You won't regret it. And this is world two. Different music. Actually, I need to point that out. Splunky has amazing music. That's basically all I've got to say. Uh, I'm kind of running out of time, so I'm probably going to just wrap this one up here. Thanks for watching. First episode of Spelunky. There's going to be a lot more. At least, I hope. So, see you next time. Good night.